Hello guys, and welcome back to another hobby video. Following on with the running tradition of this channel, this video is long overdue, but nevertheless, I thought now would be a good time to share with you the next big project that I'm working on. For now, let's start at the beginning. For this upcoming project, I knew I was going to need more space than I had available. For the past two weeks, I've been cleaning and setting up a new hobby area to work in. After a trip to my local hardware outlet to pick up some essentials for the hobby space, we were nearly ready to roll. I wouldn't say I'm particularly gifted when it comes to DIY, but within a few hours I'd managed to put up some shelves and with a little help, a desk too. Last but not least, we needed a couple of lamps with some daylight bulbs since those dark nights are drawing in. Here's what the hobby space looks like right now. A little barren, I know, but it won't take long to change that. Alright, let's move on with the project. I've been inspired recently by the new cover art for the upcoming Black Library book, The End and the Death. The artwork depicts the Emperor of Mankind at the height of his power, sat upon the Golden Throne. This is the point where I thought to myself, well, I've already made one version of the Emperor, so let's try another. Because this 30k version of the Emperor is so different, and alive, I really wanted to see if I could depict him in miniature form. I'm going to use this piece of art as the framework for my own project, but I'm also going to take some creative liberties when constructing this new diorama. I want my build to have the same overall feel and aesthetic similarities, but also be able to put my own spin on it. So, let's get started. First of all, I needed a base to get started with. By some stroke of luck, I managed to get hold of a pre-built reinforced base during a job I was working on. From this, I started work building up the height and shape of the pyramid that the Emperor sits on. A lot of my method of how I build tends to be going absolutely ham and seeing what works. Hence, man cutting foam with what appears to be a steak knife. Anyway, I cut sheets of insulation foam into desired shapes and used PVA glue to stick them to the wooden base. Once the foam had finished drying, I began sticking card all over the sides of the pyramid to give me a durable surface to start adding details to. For the top of the pyramid and the floor of the hall, I'll be using the trusty old Zomortalis floor tiles. It took me three boxes worth to get the amount of tiles I needed, and my wallet has still not forgiven me. These tiles also come with a great amount of detail and will provide a sturdy base for me to stick some miniatures to. To give you an idea of the size of this diorama, here's a little Space Marine for scale. As you can see, this diorama is a little bit bigger than my last one, so having more space to work in was essential. We're only at the beginning of this project, and it sure as hell is going to be a long one. As I work through this project, I'm going to show my progress both here on YouTube and over on Instagram, so stay tuned if you want to see how it turns out. Along with building, I've been scouring the depths of eBay to see if there's pieces that'll suit this build well. So far the search has yielded mixed results, but I have a couple of great tools and pieces that I can use. This little selection will be making its way to the project over the coming months. I hope to make more comprehensive videos as I progress through this build, as this is just the beginning. If you're interested in following along, please consider subscribing and following the progress over on Instagram. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.